This is Johnny Five here with the Raging Droner talking to whoever's listening out there. Like I told my last wife, I says, honey, I never fly faster than I can see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. John here guys and today we're talking about the full review of the Raging Droner. That's right, I have two very different but equally awesome builds here that I built up to be my demos for this frame because I'm actually selling this frame as well. Um, I have every iteration, I have the hybrid, I have the regular, I have all of the pods turtle mode fins in stock the red the blue the black so if you want one of those email me at john e5 fpv shop at gmail.com um, i don't have a website for selling these up yet i'm not going to be opening up a full shop or anything guys but um i did get dealer access so i wanted to be able to provide these a lot of people are always asking me um, after reviews do you have one for sale and i usually have one exactly one for sale which is whatever i reviewed um, but i was tired of telling people no so now i can tell you yes now what do you get if you order the frame from me well if you order a frame and a fin you get free shipping or if you order two frames you get free shipping if you order any frame i will give you a set of these 3d printed arm guards that i have out at the edge of the arms that i have been running on my builds i'll print some of those out for you um, that you'll get free and if you order two frames i will give you three sets of those so you'll have spares so um i have actually been running this now for a few weeks and i've been trying different setups this let's go through the builds this is the raging droner hybrid oh check out the rear six inch arms in the back uh, i have this set up to run a gopro if i want to this will also do turtle mode just fine uh, the same as if you had one of these fins installed that would look like this um, now this one has the new hyperlight f3 esc with the hyperlight f40 sd i'm running the uh, akk race on here uh, vtx with the XM Plus receiver, this is a Runcam Micro Swift, and it's running the 2207.5 1722 kV Team Edition motors. This is closer to what I have normally been running. It comes in right at about 300 grams with the strap, uh, without this GoPro mount right there. And I wanted to try something light though, something 20 by 20, something super light. And as it sits right here, this thing weighs 243 grams. So that's closer to 265 or so once you get props on there, but very, very light. Now this is the Emacs uh, Mini Magnum 2.1. Now the 2.1 is significant because it has an MMCX connector for the video transmitter instead of the UFL. Uh, now in addition to that stack, I'm running an XM Plus receiver. I'm running the Catalyst Machine Works Send It. 2206 1800 kv motors those are very powerful and very light and then i'm running the run cam robin trying that out with the 1.8 lens this is actually the get fpv xylo edition i wanted it black so i can get like this whole murder thing going on and uh it's all murdered out but i wanted to also be able to see it if i crashed in the grass so instead of the regular um axi that i normally use this time i went with fox ears bright neon highlighter colored lollipop version 2 um, which I really like. Um, so even with this SMA connector and stubby antenna and on both of these, I am running this Kevlar strap, which is the nice addition that the Houston crew group by. That was uh, something that one of our race directors and Catalyst Teamworks or Catalyst Machine Works team pilot, Neil and M. Grower would often say, nice, nice. And it's become kind of a running joke. And so we even had our entire city's straps uh, made with his, <laughs> his uh, thing that he shouts out. We've used that in our races as the start tone, just Neil going nice that somebody extracted from a random video. Um, but this is a game changer, guys. Um, you'll notice that both of these are slightly um more dirty than most of the things i review on on this channel here and the reason for that is because i have flown both of these um not just for test purposes but i have flown them on a track now with this hybrid i went ahead and put on a tiny led right there i did not do that with the other one uh, just to have some little differences there and uh the hybrid does gain some additional smoothness in the air 
uh, which I really, really like. Uh, one thing that I had been starting to get tired of running a potted race frame for so long is that you just really had no access to the stack uh, to do any kind of repairs, adjustments, or even to plug into Betaflight. So I really appreciate the openness uh, and accessibility to make any repairs to a solder wire joint, to get to the VTX or the receiver, or to plug into Betaflight and make some updates. If you want to update to 4.0, very easy to do that. I also like that it has a superior amount of camera protection. Now, in addition to the camera protection, which a lot of race frames actually do have, the campfire that I was running prior to also had very good camera protection. One thing though that this has that I really want to note is that it has excellent battery protection. I had started to have an issue where I was getting rear-ended or mid-aired or crashing on my old race frame. <laughs> I was getting my battery lead wires just chopped up to bits uh, because on that frame I preferred to run them out the back because they're just the camera was essentially positioned here now this because of the long nose and the camera brace you can safely run your camera your battery wires towards the front and because your battery will end basically right here you have all this space that's protected by this brace so your 35 to 40 dollar 6s battery packs are completely safe um, i love that feature of this frame so how does it fly though how does it fly well it flies quite good the staggered arms of catalyst machine works frames i've said it a thousand times you really do feel it in the air and to me the america had the same flight characteristics for the most part this one has a little bit different because it's dead cat in the front but the smoothness is there but for me to race America full time requires an additional commitment towards maintenance and keeping your quads running that I just didn't really want to commit to. Um, but now you can have this performance, this smoothness, this confidence um, with additional confidence of keeping your battery safe, keeping your camera safe, keeping your weight light and keeping yourself uh, much more protected in a variety of ways and maintaining that stack accessibility, which I love. Now, one thing I would suggest when you get to building this is go ahead and lay out your stack prior to, in fact, I'd even say, go ahead and screw it onto the bottom plate before you put this uh, cage over it. I really suggest you go watch Neil's assembly video on this. And uh, what else do I recommend? If you're gonna use 20 by 20, don't use the cheap plastic hardware that it comes with. Upgrade your hardware, get some metals, M2 screws in there. Uh, I really suggest you do that. I, I, In my urgency to get this thing built up, I did use what comes with the Magnum. And of course, all of those screws broke in a crash. And I ran this on the, the, multi -B, the MultiGP 2019 qualifier track. We had a practice in our city and I ran both of these alternating back to back. The one that has the run cam on the OSD is going to be the 2207 with the hybrid. And the one that does not is going to be this one. So I'm going to show you plenty of laps uh, with both of these because these are both new frames, new setups, new weights that I'm not used to. And I'm even experimenting uh, now going back to the HQ 4.3 v1s especially with the slider setup so it's even a new prop so that was causing me to have a lot more crashes than usual and i was happy that that was the case because i really wanted to put this in it through its paces we also ran a double gate that day that was metal emt conduit oh the enemy of all frames and as we all crashed against that thing i could hear over and over again that ping that loud ping sound oh man it's just absolutely soul crushing every time you hear that and you look over and know that somebody is broke breaking stuff and we had a lot of arms a lot of motors broken that day because of that double gate and i hit it a couple times and i broke nothing
Now, to be fair, I didn't hit it going 60 or 70 miles an hour. I think I hit it much slower than that, but these definitely had a number of crashes and I broke no arms. These 3D arm uh, protectors helped me to keep the ends of my arms looking nice and clean with no delamination. You can see here, this one, I actually hit it hard enough to kind of rip the front off, but it did its job because the edge, the end of that arm is completely clean and unmarred so if you want a set of those order the frame for me and i'll get them printed out for you it'll come along with it just email me uh at the email in the description i'll put it on the screen here as well and let's get to the footage at the race thanks guys this is jack burton in the pork chop express and i'm talking to whoever's listening out there like i told my last wife i says honey i never drive faster than i can see besides that it's all in the reflexes 